Hello everybody, my name is Sniper is Fun, and I welcome you back to my next video. I'm going to be presenting you for my channel. Quick little content to add, you know, till I get my uh, next major videos out, top 10 list reviews and whatnot, which I plan on getting into a, quite a bit this upcoming week, but I wanted to actually do this video as a quick little, you know, bit of content for you guys because of, you know, just to add more stuff to it. And I want to give my thoughts on it anyway, especially because there's a lot of people you know, online or otherwise, they're really talking about this thing. And I want to give my quick little thoughts. It's not going to be a review. It's not going to be, you know, major thoughts. And I'm not going to spoil anything for you, just letting you guys know that. But I want to give my thoughts on the new Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice movie. You know, I went to see it yesterday with my cousins, you know, Vito and Patrick, you know, two cousins gaming, T&T gamers. Um, and we did do a video giving our initial thoughts before we went to see the movie. So I probably will put in the, my video description if you want to go see... The, our discussion video be on our way to the movie and our thoughts before we actually saw it. So I will give you the link to that, or you just look for Two Cousins with a Z Gaming. It's one of our newest videos. But I want to give my quick thoughts now, my own personal thoughts after the fact that I, I we went to see the movie. And I'm not going to spoil anything, so for those of you who had not seen it yet and come across this video, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, and I don't think anything in this video is going to be anywhere near spoilers for you guys. But I wanted to basically just do this so I can get off my chest before I do a major private thoughts video with Vito later on, because we plan on doing something probably later on this week, or next week, I should say, of our thoughts together, because that's when we were planning on doing that. But I want to get my thoughts. So what, what did I really think about... Batman v Superman. I liked it. I don't think it was... I mean, here's the thing. I really was actually quite looking forward to it earlier on when they were... Like, the first trailers were starting to come out. Because, you know, Man of Steel was actually a pretty freaking awesome movie. I'll, I'll give it that. I do think the battle was a little too much, even if it was against Zod. I think that was supposed, should have been held up for someone like Doomsday. But I think it was a good initial start to a new universe for, like, Superman and the DC cinematic universe and stuff like that. I thought it was a pretty awesome movie. This, I was really kind of looking forward to, and then they started showing more and more in the trailers, and I'm like, ah, you're showing a little too much. We didn't need to know that Wonder Woman was in the movie. We didn't need to know about the other heroes having the appearances in the movie, which is not really a spoiler, I'm sorry to say, but they, the way they show up, I'm not going to say specifically what. I thought it was good. That I thought was good, the way they showed other heroes. Because uh, you pretty much were, they, it was pretty much confirmed that other heroes were showing up here, but I thought the way they worked is good. I'm not going to spoil how they were showing up. But they showed up in, I think, a pretty good way. But then they started showing, like, Doomsday, Wonder Woman, every little thing in these newer trailers. And I started thinking, like, uh, they're throwing too much into this movie. And I still think that. they threw. I think they threw a little too much into this movie, especially for a second movie in the DC Cinematic Universe. Now, I'm not trying to compare it to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and trying to say they should take their time to do movies over and over again. Because I don't want it to be exactly like Marvel. I would like DC to do their own way. But a lot of these heroes... A lot of the story just seems to be thrown together early on so they can get to a Justice League movie, which I believe is next year. And it's like, okay, Marvel took their time with the Avengers and you're just going to jump right into Justice League. Which works in certain circumstances, but, you know, they, they could, I think, take the time at least for 2018 or something and do like another movie or two before then. But... I think, but here's the thing, like, I, and I was, this is before going into the movie, I, I was thinking, okay, they're going to show all these heroes off and it's going to be way too much. The way they showed them off, like I said, wasn't too much, and I think it worked pretty well. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys who've seen it, but they, other heroes show up in a decent fashion that's not, like, pushing it. Wonder Woman was fine, I think, in my opinion, at least showing up. Um, but, basically, it's about, I think, here's the thing. I thought they put a little too much into it, and they, they're trying to jump the gun on a lot of things too much and not really trying to build up, I think, as much. But I thought the action scenes were pretty good. I thought the battle between Batman and Superman was pretty good. I thought the final battle was pretty good. A lot of the early story was actually quite good. And I, I mean, I think, I'm not saying it's a horrible movie. It's actually pretty good. I would not say, I would agree with Vito, and he said this too, he thought Man of Steel was better. And I would have to say that too, Man of Steel was better, because I think it was a little more planned out. But... Um, I'm not going to say Batman v Superman is horrible. There's a lot of people that give like 31% of Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that. I'm not going to say horrible. I've seen much worse when it comes to superhero movies. And it was not bad. It just was not great. It was good. And I went into it with a little bit lower expectations. And I think I came out liking it a little bit more than I originally thought I would have. 
but it, it's not that same level of excitement I had when they first started showing off trailers for it. And that's really all my thoughts on the movie. I thought it was pretty good. The action scenes were pretty good. The actors, Ben Affleck as Batman was really good. You know, the Wonder Woman was, was pretty good. Jesse Eisenberg as a, <laughs> as a Lex Luthor. I have my positives and negatives about it. I think it worked. It turned out a little bit better than I think a lot of people were assuming it was going to be. But I don't think it's as good as probably, like the Lex Luthor character could have been. And my cousin Dio hates him with a gut. <laughs> he hates. He absolutely hates this. You know, Lex Luthor. I didn't have too much of a problem because it seemed like he was more of just a crazy guy that had like daddy issues in a sense. Which, that's not giving anything away. It's like I, It looks like he's kind of like a you know, a younger, rich man, Lex Luthor, that just seems to have more of a crazy attitude rather than the rich billionaire dude that just is kind of like, kind of like, you know, like, you know, you know what Lex Luthor is like. And I think they might actually build more into that if he starts showing up in later movies. Like, he, he gets, he's going to get older. He's going to get more serious and be less jokey and things like that. Because this is a younger Lex Luthor. I don't think it was too much of a problem. Because it's a different, it's a different inter interpretation of the character. And I thought it worked out pretty well. But overall, my thoughts on the movie, because I don't want to take, 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 talk for too long on this video. Um, I liked it. I recommend people still go see it. If you like Superman, like Batman, and you like Man of Steel, and just want to see the next in the cinematic universe for DC, I still recommend seeing it. I'm not going to just say, oh, no, it sucks. It's, 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 like, yo, don't go see it at all. Don't go see this movie. It sucks. Balls. No. I thought it was decently good, and you could find enjoyment out of it, even if you're not entirely happy with how the end result is. And... That's about all my thoughts are, and I hope you guys liked the video. Peace, please subscribe if you want to. Have a lovely day. Um, stay tuned for more videos from my channel, and stay tuned for Two Cousins Gaming and our talk fully together on this topic. See you all later. Bye.